know, when you're out there, are you guys laughing and having fun? And these are your friends out there, right? And you want them to have fun as well. But now what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate it and move it to the field. And it's about dribbling. Who loves to dribble? Oh, yeah. Now, when you're dribbling, do you want to kick the ball as far as you can and run after it? Yeah. You want to keep it close to you, right? Yeah. Talk about being in control. You always want to be in control. If you kick it too far out, of, out front of you, what can happen? The other team can take it, okay? When we dribble, do you, what surface do we use? What's one of the best surfaces? The inside, the inside of our feet. Why do you think that? Football's a great game, but it's also a team game. I can say to you, go get five players, I'll get five, meet you back here in an hour and play a basketball game, or go get nine baseball players, I'll get nine, or get some golfers or tennis players. But football is one game where you actually have to work. But it's also a game where you can become an outstanding football player if you adhere to the basic fundamentals that we're going to show you on this tape. The main reason people drop the ball is not because they don't have great hands. It's because they don't execute certain fundamental principles that you have to if you're going to catch the football. Certain things we want to remember. If the ball is below the waist, we need our little fingers together. If the ball is above the waist, you want your thumbs together. Welcome to Valley Ranch, home of the Cowboys. Hi, I'm Troy Aikman. Chances are you're watching this tape because you want to improve your quarterback skills. Well, you've come to the right place. This tape is to help all you aspiring quarterbacks fulfill your potential. I hope you find it a valuable tool in helping you reach your goals. Coming up, I'm going to demonstrate the fundamentals of playing quarterback and discuss mental and physical preparation. Working on flexibility is necessary for developing your potential as a quarterback. The benefits of spending time on flexibility will help you prevent injuries by increasing the range of movement for your muscles and joints. Think of your muscles as rubber bands. The greater the stretch, the more elastic energy your muscles will be able to create when throwing the ball. I'm Emmett Smith. Chances are if you're watching this tape, you want to improve your ball carrying skills. Well, you've come to the right place. That's what this tape is for, to help future running backs fulfill their potential. I hope you find it a valuable tool in helping you reach your goals. Coming up, I'm going to demonstrate the fundamentals of playing running back and discuss mental and physical preparation. I understand that few people have the physical skills to be a professional running back, but with the proper technique and practice, everybody can improve. I'm Mike Corbin. Chances are if you're watching this tape, you want to improve your receiving skills. Well, you've come to the right place. That's what this tape is for to help you, the aspiring receiver, fulfill his potential. And you can still read the whole coverage. If I come off the ball now, I don't give him the whole chest. He's just got the shoulder pads. And if you miss the shoulder pads, I'm gone. There you sit in that red Corvette. I think I just fell in love I've been seeing you in my sleep You what I've been dreaming of Honey, there's no band on my left hand And if the same applies to you Then I got something I think we all to do Hi, we're the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders! We're at the Neon Armadillo on Pleasure Island at the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida. Our country western workout features some of our favorite songs from Dallas County Line. The exercises and dance steps are easy and fun to do.